Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and this is another Why Shit video. Now, when I was doing the Q&A episode, Super Burning Gods will remind me about another fanship that I kind of did, and that was Kaiju Girl, and right, that was Why Shit Kaiju Girl Godzilla and Godzilla, or Godzilla and Kaiju Girl Godzilla, whichever one you prefer. I don't really mind. Now, why should these two is a big, big kind of explain. I understand that most people don't like Hedge Girl Godzilla because she's basically a, a girl version of the King of Monsters. Now, it makes sense on why people have a problem with it. Um, I shift them for a few reasons. Now, why ship them... Well, let's just say that even though Kaiju Girl Godzilla is basically a human Godzilla hybrid thing, or whichever you prefer, or you could just prefer a human Godzilla. So, why should these two? Well, for one, it's kind of accurate, because, well, Kaiju Girl Godzilla is basically a female Godzilla. Now, Godzilla, we all know that, that he's basically a, basically a guy, and he's, like, I know it, to most of you guys, it doesn't really make any sense, because God's, the regular Godzilla is just basically a reptile, and Kaiju Girl Godzilla is basically a mammal. Only having a few reptile features besides the iconic roar, scales, well, rarely scales, actually, zero scales, actually. But, um, the only part of her that's kind of Godzilla related. Is besides of her atomic breath, her spikes on her hair or on her back? But she does have a Godzilla tail. She does have a Godzilla tail. So. At least there's a few things that basically resent. She basically has a few things that basically resemble Godzilla. Besides the iconic roar, uh, the tail, and spines, and the atomic breath. So, yeah, there's that. Um, now, how do I begin to ship these two? Well, if you guys want to count me, you can count me as a Godzilla. But it all started when I began the Godzilla Family Remake. Now, Godzilla Fireworks has no son. Well, he has a son. I don't know what I was talking about. But... His ex-wife was, in fact, killed. And basically, he's been looking for a new mate ever since his ex-wife died. And he couldn't find anyone who was compatible to him. And 
female Godzillas were basically becoming harder and harder and harder to find and rarely seen by humans or kaiju. So basically there there was that, so for Firewars finding a suitable mate for him was a little bit more of a challenge for him than he previously thought. But all that changed one day when he went to go to destroy a city. When he went to Japan and destroyed the city, he was about to destroy a few more buildings and until he saw some spines out of the water that were in the water. And long and behold, Kaiju Girl Godzilla, well at first he thought another Godzilla was going to join him in the city destroying, but he wanted to be alone. But, long and behold, it was in fact no Godzilla he was familiar with. It was in fact not just an ordinary Godzilla, it was in fact Kaiju Girl Godzilla who actually who ended up running into Godzilla, and she thought her and her daughter were the last of their kind. <laughs> so, Godzilla and Kaiju Girl Godzilla met each other. And eventually, they got to know one another. Now, keep in mind, the Kaiju Girl Godzilla in my universe did in fact had a boyfriend. She never got married to him, but she did in fact had a boyfriend. And he was in fact the, the father of her child, Kaiju Girl Godzilla Jr. Now, now, when he started to get to know Kaiju Girl Godzilla, he got to know it, her daughter. And if you're wondering what exactly happened to Kaiju Girl Godzilla's ex-boyfriend, well, what Kaiju Girl Godzilla can't remember this actually happened before her daughter was even born. So, what exactly happened to her father? Well, he in fact was killed by Queen Ghidorah. And ever since then, Kaiju Girl Godzilla has basically grown a deep hatred towards Queen Ghidorah. Kaiju Girl Godzilla loved her ex-boyfriend very much, and... When he died, she got peed off so much, she just wanted to destroy anything or anyone that got in her way. Because she cared about him so much, and seeing him die by the hands of her arch rival peed her off really good. And not within a good way for Queen Ghidorah. She ended up in the hospital. Or at least in her sh shuttle, well, spaceship. She basically ended up in her ship for about. Uh, she almost ended up almost five years and a half in there. Basically. So I could say. Green Girl did not expect a Gadget Girl Godzilla to get that mad. Ever since then, she's grown highly protective of her daughter. But, yeah, she basically grown a deep hatred towards Queen Ghidorah and highly overprotective of her daughter. She never allowed anyone or anything to come near her daughter for at least about a period of time. Until they were monsters that she could trust.
But when she met God's all fine words and realized on how strong a man he is, she realized that with his help, she could basically avenge her ex-boyfriend. Because she wants to kill Queen Ghidorah so badly. And besides of that, Kaiju Girl Grazel well, not just became a mother of her own child, she basically became a mother of Godzilla Final Wars' child. And she known every other Godzilla within his family, and realized that for them, finding a female Godzilla that was more like them and not like her, she, well, basically was accepted into the family. Eventually, they ended up figuring out that there were other Kaiju Girl Gossels and they were hiding in the Hollow Earth. And Kaiju Girl Gossel was no longer alone. So, Kaiju Girl Godzilla... Well, she was known to be the queen of the monsters. But, to the monsters that she never knew, basically the monsters that Final Wars was king of, But basically, she was basically became the ultimate queen of the monsters, you could say. And eventually, um, her and Final Wars did, in fact, spoilers. If you don't want to get spoiled for what happens within the Godzilla Family remake, I always suggest you leave. And. Wait until the series comes out and until you watch the last episode. But her and Godzilla Final Wars actually do end up killing Queen Ghidorah. Rough. But Final Wars allowed Kaiju Girl Godzilla to finish her off. And just like that, Kaiju Girl Godzilla finally managed to, have, to put aside her, her long desire for revenge. After killing Queen Ghidorah, she finally got the revenge that she deserved. And eventually, she got married to Godzilla Final Wars. And her and Godzilla Final Wars did, in fact, had a child of their own. And so... Yeah. And ever since then, Godzilla Final Wars and Kaiju Girl Godzilla remained as husband and wife. Kaiju Girl Godzilla Jr. became Godzilla Final Wars' official daughter, sort of. And Kaiju Girl Godzilla became the official mother for Godzilla Ultima. And they ended up having three children of their own. Two of them, in fact, look like Godzilla Final Wars, while the other one was a bit more like, like their mother. So, yeah. And not just that, Kaiju Girl Godzilla was announced to be in Godzilla's Kaiju Size Adventures. So, and in that universe, she's a good friend with Mikasa and Eren. But she's mostly good friends with Mikasa. And so, that's why I ship Godzilla and Kaiju Girl Godzilla. The official last ship that involves Godzilla himself. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to have gorgeous excellence. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.